What's going on? My name is Slash Maniacs. We are back with another edition of WWE Supercard. I want to introduce my second account team real quickly. Uh, we're not doing too great. Uh, we only got three people playing. Myself with 50 points. Nathan Smith, BJ Poyser, Poyser uh, and Angel Bandia, Oli Mac, Willemar, something, uh, Bulgari, Sosa, and Jason. Uh, so far, those guys have not been playing. One, two, three. There's like five guys not playing. And the rest of us are playing, so uh, that hopefully that changes because that's not good. And especially one of the guys asked to join the team, and I just invited him from the global chat. So and we're, that's that's sad. We should not be on the Ultimate Warrior on the first. Uh, come on, that's just ridiculous. We should be at least on the second or third card by now. That's just ridiculous. Like our our team is probably on the rest media card by now, but. The second account team, there's no excuse for that. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. They need to get that stuff together. They need to get it together for the second account team. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, nothing else is going on. I'm going to go look through my cards here real quickly. Uh, I did get a second Akon. So he is a pro, uh, my Fusion Pro, for the second account. Uh, other than that, nothing really going on there. So let's go into the main account here and uh, start grinding there because it doesn't seem like nobody wants to grind on the second team account and they need to do that right away because this is just ridiculous um, I know most of those guys have school and stuff but you know at least let me know like that you guys aren't doing anything hope you guys like the new layout that I made um, I don't, you know I hope you guys had a happy Easter by the way as well so um, we got a king of the ring going on right now uh, let's see. We're not doing great in here. 18, 16, we're doing decent. I uh, could be doing better, but, you know, I'm just kind of uh, training up Matt and Jeff here. Um, I'm really, really hoping to get these pros from Matt and Jeff because I really, really could use them. Um, I definitely need them in my life because they're definitely going to get me to rest me to 33 tier. At least that or an Ultimate Diva Pro. Um, hopefully a Nia Jax Pro or whatever else. Um, I thought Enzo Moore was going to help me to get there, but apparently that is not the case. So that's what's going on with that uh, for the King of the Ring. Uh, let's see where I stand at here. Um, we are 8th place right now. Shout out to Luke59, No Cena86, Main, Demu, uh, God of War, Den Denineho, Mishka, myself, Canelo, Karma, Alonzo993, Matt, QC Phil, uh, JMS6790, uh, Conqueror Panda, and Twister02. Uh, we don't have much going on in chat. I don't know what's going on there. Let's get into the action for WWE Supercard. Let's play some Ring Domination. And the, the event card, of course, is Samoa Joe. The Samoa Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. So we are on the Brock Lesnar card. That is insane. Look at, look at how far we are in our main account. I mean, the second account should take notes. I mean, this is how you grind, guys. This is how you're supposed to grind on the second account. I wish my second account played as good as my main account. I mean, come on. We're just claiming those guys here real quickly. Uh, we're going to play some bouts here. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I hope you guys are doing real awesome today. wanted to kind of take a break yesterday and chill out in a little bit. You know, enjoy the Easter festivities, which was really fun. Um, <clears throat> I spent some time. I organized my YouTube. I reorganized my YouTube channel, by the way. Um, and I made it where you guys can uh, see different categories. I uh, put all the Supercard videos in one uh, playlist now, which is really, really awesome. I'm really, really excited that I did that. So I'm hoping you guys like the layout. I decided to, you know, change it up a little bit, make something different. Um, not the best, but I thought it came out pretty decent. Um, not too bad. It didn't come out too bad, in my honest opinion. I thought it came out very well for an amateur like myself, so I'm very happy with that. Um, good luck in your road to glory. Let me know in the comments below what you're, um, what you're going for in your road to glory. So, for most of you guys, it's going to be a pro for Samoa Joe, I think, for our team. Uh, most of us have the Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardys, so it's it's a uh, it's definitely a broken one team. Really, really awesome. Um, what did you guys think about the whole? Uh, I want to talk about that situation with the whole Ronaldo, Ronaldo, 
Amaro, the, the dude that was in SmackDown, he did the commentary and stuff. Apparently, he was uh, commentating an MMA match uh, yesterday or something, or Saturday or Sunday, something like that. And he kind of took a, a jab at Vince McMahon, like, you know, saying the word pro wrestling or something, professional wrestling, something like that, because he couldn't say it in the announce team when he was on the announce team. Um, you know, that, that whole situation is pretty messed up. That whole uh, situation, I think, is pretty messed up. Um, I don't know what went, went on with JBL and Mauro Ronaldo behind the scenes. I don't know if he got mad, he got jealous of Ronaldo saying different words. I don't know what it was. Um, you know, I just think that, you know, the commentators should say what they want to say. I know Vince controls everything as far as the wrestlers go, what the wrestlers can say, uh, what the referees do, and uh, how they act backstage, things like that. I get that, but the commentary, I mean, it should be fun for everybody to watch. Not just, you know, you know, there shouldn't be any animosity between, there shouldn't be any, like, like friction between any of the um, announcer guys, because it's just not, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me. It's just, you know, the whole Mauro Ronaldo situation, I don't know how true it is if JBL did bully him. Um, I really don't know the whole story on that, but, you know, it's just like, it's just ridiculous. Um, but, you know, if, uh, but I guess uh, Mauro Ronaldo, Ronaldo, I cannot pronounce the guy's name, but anyway, you know, they need to just get off his case about doing, about, you know, about, you know, doing that jab towards Vince McMahon. I can't blame him, though, because, you know, he got mad because there's certain words, I guess, you can use in WWE that you, uh, certain words you can use in New Japan or in MMA that you can't use in WWE, which is kind of silly. You know, pro wrestling shouldn't be a word that you should be able to use in Common in color commentary. I do understand, you know, Vince controls the color commentary stuff like that. What they can say, what they can't say, but you know, just as they should just make the commentary fun for people to enjoy, so that way they have something to listen to and to be entertained when they're watching wrestling at the same time. So, um, you know, just uh, I, I like Jr. J Jim Ross is one of my favorite announcers, and Joey Styles from ECW. I really think they should bring uh, Joey Styles back to commentary. I think he'll be he'll do a phenomenal job uh, for for uh, WWE. He's a great commentator as well as Jim Ross. Um, love to see him back. Um, they don't have Jerry the King Lawler doing too much stuff now. Um, he used to uh, be my favorite announcer as well, but uh, you know they kind of ever since now with the PG era, they're kind of PGing all the commentating. And, and, you know, they should, you know, it doesn't matter. They should really make it, make it exciting and, and you know, for people to, to watch, you know. Uh, JBL is a great commentator, too. He Sometimes he does, he does some dumb stuff, too. But, uh, you know, I've loved JBL since the APA, even before the APA, um, when he was a singles wrestler as well. Um, you know, I just, I, I really think they, that they should just, they shouldn't really uh, get, you know, they shouldn't get too much on the commentators. They, you know, the commentators are trying to do their job and say, you know, call the matches the best way that they can. And they, let them just call the matches and uh, let them just entertain the crowd. I mean, they shouldn't really, like, point the fingers at the announcers or bullying them. You know, it's just kind of, it's kind of silly, in my honest opinion. But it is what it is. That's the WWE. You can't help that at all. So... Like I said, it is what it is. You can't help that. That's just that's just a fact of life, and uh, that's pretty much what's going on with that. I mean, what are your thoughts about the Mauro Ronaldo thing? Well, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that whole situation, because I feel like there's a whole bunch like that just needs to be talked about with that in a way. So, I mean, I don't know the whole story whether JBL did bully him or. I don't know. I don't know the whole story, but uh, I just wish uh, Mauro now the best of luck, wherever, whatever he's doing, whether I think he was commentating for a mixed martial arts match or something. Um, that's what I, at least that's what I heard from Joe Cronin. I was watching Joe Cronin this morning uh, about that too, so 
I was also watching. Uh, I actually watched the Young Bucks match. The Young Bucks take on the Hardy Boys uh, right before uh, they left. But right before Hardy Boys left the Ring of Honor to come to WWE, uh, that match just so happened to be in Lakeland, Florida. They had NXT in Orlando. They had WCPW event there in Florida, here in Florida, also. So they had three wrestling events. I mean, a lot of wrestling going on this whole weekend. So. Um, not this week, yeah, but during the WrestleMania weekend, rather. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. I didn't, I had no clue WCPW was here. Um, I have not seen WCPW show. I've heard a lot about it, but maybe one day I'll go and watch it. But anyway, guys, I just hope you guys are doing awesome. I just want to kind of go on a ramble and talk to you about um, that match. I thought that was a great match. Young Bucks, I think, is a great tag team. That would be kind of awesome if, uh, I really hope in a way that, that would be kind of awesome if Young Bucks would come to WWE, but I think they've been, they turned down WWE's offer uh, a few times. But on the other hand too, um, I don't, I, I love Ring of Honor. I really love uh, those guys are very talented there in Ring of Honor. I, I really hope that Vince McMahon doesn't buy Ring of Honor because he's really gonna ruin Ring of Honor if he does buy uh, I hope that's not the case. I hope Vince McMahon does not buy Ring of Honor. I really hope not because, you know, there's such such good talent in Ring of Honor. And uh, I think Vince will kind of ruin it. They'll make those, he'll make them jobbers or make them mid-card guys, which those, those guys are at the top caliber and um, very talented. They're uniquely talented in uh, Ring of Honor. So I just hope Vince McMahon doesn't buy Ring of Honor. I'll be very disappointed if he does. Um, hopefully that's not the case. Um, TNA, I mean, I, I don't really care if he buys TNA at all either, but in a way, I really don't want him buying TNA either, so it's just kind of like, you know, you got some of the guys that jumped ship to TNA um, that are already there now, so I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about the the whole uh, TNA Ring of Honor thing. Hopefully, uh, WWE Vince doesn't buy Ring of Honor out because that would really suck. I really wouldn't want that to happen. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to see some Ring of Honor guys. We already have Ring of Honor guys like Austin Aries, Samoa Joe. Um, we have uh, Cedric Alexander who used to be in Ring of Honor. Um, AJ Styles who's there now. He was in Ring of Honor. So, you know, Daniel Bryan, who used to be there, and CM Punk, that used to be there, was in Ring of Honor. But hearing a lot of rumors also about, uh, right, I'm going to play one more match here. I've been talking a lot. Okay. Um, and we'll do the team breakdown after this. It's going to be a little long of a video. Um, ah, what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of those guys came from Ring of Honor uh, to WWE. Yeah, CM Punk, oh yeah, I was hearing rumors that CM Punk and uh, AJ Lee were supposed to be coming back to WWE. I don't know when or I don't know where I read this rumor at, but apparently I read it and I don't know how 100% true this is. This would be amazing if CM Punk could come back and uh, to Raw, maybe win the Universal title or something. And AJ Lee wins the women's title on Raw also. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't see that happening. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it won't. I know I'm just rambling on about stuff, guys. I just wanted to kind of, like, help you grind and help you uh, do whatever it is that you do. We're going to read the team points breakdown, and we're going to call it a video from here, guys. Um, I don't see a point in grinding on the, on the second account team because nobody's grinding there. And they need to be grinding because if they don't, then I'm going to be making some cuts on the second account team. So second account team, if you are watching this, I need you guys to grind. Because, you know, especially some of you guys that I ended up picking up from the global chat. I mean, I spent like a half hour, just a little while ago, off camera, on global chat, just to make sure that I can find some uh, good, uh, some, some, uh, some teammates on the second account team. But this is this team's like Lou. I'm not worried about it. We're we're rolling along on WrestleMania card right now. 
We're doing an awesome job. I really hope you like the new layout. It looks pretty good. I, I actually like it. It's pretty fun. I uh, just kind of wanted to kind of take some time out and talk about that today. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys had a good Easter. Let me know how your Easter went. Um, and, you know, just kind of chilling out. And now I'm coming back and bringing the video for you for WWE Supercard. That's going to end this part of the portion here. Let's go ahead and uh, pick our picks here. Um, we are already on the SummerSlam Brock Lesnar. We should be able to hopefully get a SummerSlam card for the second account. Not that I need it. I just pulled the page card. I just talked about page. Well, yeah. Page. Talked about page. Okay, we're just going to pick our picks here real quickly. Hope you guys are doing awesome, man. Uh, wish you guys all the best of luck in your road to glory. Let's go ahead and do the team points breakdown. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Team points breakdown. Irfan Sabar with 350 points. Uh, D. Brown Rock Metal with 300 points. Renato with 200 points. Uh, check out their YouTube channels. Uh, Irfan Sabar and D. Brown Rock and Metal. Awesome, awesome dudes. Uh, Aaron Mitchell, check out their, his YouTube channel. 120 points. Myself with 90 points, Fireproof with 80 points, uh, check out his YouTube channel, I think he still does some stuff. Sunny Dallas Morel, check out his YouTube channel with 60 points. Manuel 50, uh, Sway Phenom Cardoso, check out his YouTube channel with 10 points. And Wendell with 0, so I know Sway works, um, I know Sunny D works, does his thing, so everybody is doing their thing. Um, I don't know what's going down with, with, with uh, I gotta go and change my cards and do all that good stuff. But um, that's going to call it a video, guys. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. And, and guys, subscribe to the channel. Um, tell people. Share, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, definitely let me know, guys, what you guys want to see more of on the channel. I really want to know your opinion. Um, I really want to bring some more games if you guys want me to do that. Um, just let me know because uh, Supercard is a great game. I just want to mix it up, do more of a variety of games, uh, so let me know what I can do better, uh, whether it be video-wise or um, or anything else, if you, uh, there's other games you want me to play, PS4 games, anything like that, I'll be more than happy to play them, just let me know, guys, um, you know, you guys uh, haven't really given me much feedback, and I really want you guys to give me your opinion as to what I should play or what I should do more of on the channel. Let me know, and this is this is gonna help me grow the channel because I can't grow the channel if you guys don't tell me what exactly it is you guys want to see. So that's gonna be a big help. But thank you anyway for watching. Uh, don't forget to put your comments below. Uh, just take a few seconds, comment on the video, share the video. Uh, let me know what other things you want me to do for the channel and play what games you want me to play. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Have an awesome.